folks, welcome to Informatica tutorial where we are going to see that how to use transformation developer from the Informatica designer, how to use Maplet designer from designer tool where the first thing is use of transformation developer. So we know that pretty well. We have a source analyzer, we have a target designer, we have here transformation developer and then we have a maplet designer at the last we have mapping designer the purpose of transformation developer is to create reusable transformation or reusable logic uh, which can uh, which can be uh, unique for each case uh, as many number of times you are going to use it into the mapping basically so basically in this case of this SAD type 2 I can show you I have created a reusable transformation for sequence generator so generally what will happen if I'll keep a single sequence generator on the mapping what it does it goes and creates the first load first target uh, sequence starting from its property so if I'm going into the property of this one I can see that uh, it's starting from uh, the current value is 1 that means it will start from 1 and as per the number of uh, data available inside the target it is going to create that many number of uh, my sequences and then if I have another target uh, link to this uh, sequence generator what it does is uh, it's going to generate uh, the set of uh, keys uh, only afterward uh, whatever it has been generated already that means suppose like here we have a 50 uh, records so till 50 it has been uh, generated already so in this table the sequence will be generated uh, from 51 onward that means 101 till 101 it will be generated so this table this table and this table all these tables are same table target table where here I'm capturing my insert as a update and here I'm taking like history as an uh, history and here I'm taking uh, update as an update so these all things need to be loaded in a single target table so anyhow it has to generate a same sequence key uh, all across the targets so when I'm going to use a reusable uh, sequence generator what it does it is going to uh, generate unique keys for all the targets um, and all the targets uh, to which I am using the sequence generator basically. So what will happen if I am creating the sequence generator I have to create it uh, to make it a property uh, reusable which is only going to happen if I am going to create under the transformation development. So whatever transformation you are creating over here that is going to be reusable and uh, that reduces your effort uh, to create it again and again if it is going to be used multiple number of time in the mapping designer. So in the mapping designer if I'll go I'll simply go to this uh, my repository uh, indexes where we have a transformation and under the transformation folder I, I can see that my uh, sequence generator is available like we can reuse my source and target as many number of time as I want similarly all those things available in these folders are going to be used as many a number of time as you want well this is going to be used twice where we have created once into this transformation developer. So that is the use of my transformation developer uh, in the Informatica Power Center Designer tool. Well guys, um, we have another tab over here called Maplet Designer. Basically the purpose of Maplet Designer is to provide us uh, 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 a business logic. We, here we created a logic, business logic so that logic is directly going to be implemented uh, uh, over here when we are going to interact with source and target basically so as of now we haven't created anyone but I'm just simply going with this uh, anyone and I'm just opening it where you could see that uh, or let me take it something different over here and uh, let's say router and uh, we are routing a data suppose like we have uh, uh, we, we have a shorter transformation before router so we have already established a logic called shorter plus router so this logic is going to be uh, uh, used again and again let me do one thing let me uh, show you how the maplet designer uh, flow will be inside the informatica power center design well the first 
flow over here inside the maplet designer will be my maplet input transformation so I'll, I'll go to the transformation basically here and uh, I haven't created any maplet as of now so let me create a maplet and uh, it's a maplet it's not mapping so I'm just saying MPP underscore and it's a test so I'm just putting a test over here so one uh, um, maplet has been created now you can see it's been enabled so I'm going to create first of all my uh, maplet maplet input transformation so which is going to qualify my flow uh, for the business logic so I'm just going to put a name over here called test underscore MPP so MPP uh, MPP uh, it's it's for input so I'm saying in so what will happen uh, I will have uh, input uh, uh, transformation for maplet and you will have the same properties what we have generally into the transformation just go and create those columns you wanted to highlight over here so let me say some columns are uh, going to be over here where I can say like let's say uh, I have employee and uh, I have uh, employee ID, employee name, and I have uh, salary and commission. So let's say you could see that uh, when we are creating a, a maplet for input, uh, then there will be no data types available, and it is always going to be output because there is no input available. This the, uh, I'm just creating my business logic, which is going to be implemented in Mapping Designer. So there will be no input over here no input port available you could see that this is this is available but this is grayed out what I mean by available means it is grayed out so I can say this is disabled and not available for our uh, purpose so the first column is going to be my let's say EMP ID and uh, the second port is going to be EMP name EMP uh, NEN, N N is the name and uh, let's say salary and uh, my commission Alright, so I have a salary and commission both over here and uh, uh, my uh, definition of this uh, input is created over here. Now I have to create a business logic to get it done to the target where uh, this maplet will be followed by input maplet transformation and outlet, outlet ma uh, output ma maplet transformation. Well, as of now what I am going to do is I am going to create a s expression transformation over here to uh, to uh, get some value over here exp so expression transformation has been taken over here well I'm going to uh, take up all those column into the expression transformation and uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to create one more port over here called uh, total salary and it is going to be total salary total sal and it's going to be output port which is going to be derived and uh, derived by using so let me do one thing let me modify this data type basically it's a nothing but a decimals and precision and a scale is going to be set it up like uh, I believe it's a 7 and 2 so let's uh, set it up this all precision and a scale to 7 and 2 and this is going to be my decimal and here it is going to be 2 well I'm also going to set my uh, uh, data type where generally what happened we let this pass through happen with the existing data type uh, for the uh, transformation so let me do that anyhow um, so here I just have to take it up the ports here saying that uh, salary plus commission is going to be my um, uh, my uh, my total salary so that is going to be written at the end of my entire things over here and uh, what I am trying to do over here is we have did the calculation here we can also take it up anything over here saying that some of the salary which we wanted to calculate uh, maximum salary minimum salary so I just want uh, several more ports over here which I can also derive it uh, from uh, my uh, uh, what I can say expression transformation but anyhow I'm just using my aggregator to uh, have it properly so that uh, I will have a proper uh, uh, workflow uh, over here sorry job flow over here so here I'm just going to take it out uh, 
uh, my salary only because uh, it is going to be a pass through for my salary and port is salary and uh, based on the salary or total uh, salary I'm going to create let's say uh, not to take the salary here and uh, yes and I'm going to take it total salary here which is already been calculated and uh, on the port a total salary is there and this is going to be uh, input actually and uh, the outputs are going to be uh, maximum total salary and minimum total salary I can say that maximum uh, total sal and uh, and minimum total cell so basically it's also a decimal so let's uh, modify it and uh, say the pass through over here with this data type and the precision and scale where it is a uh, decimal data type over here and uh, precision is 7 and uh, a scale is uh, my scale is uh, 2 basically these all things it comes these all are output ports where I just wanted to calculate maximum or total salary so I'll use my function called max and uh, I'll put it to my ports under parenthesis I have one port only that is maximum salary I'm just going to validate this expression I'm going to say okay and also I'm going to create minimum um, minimum so minimum function and uh, the port of available over here is total sal so just validate it and say okay and we got our um, expression to this function.